Welcome back to a limited edition, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Today I have another uh, gem for you. This is a 2023 uh, Dodge Challenger Red Eye uh, Jailbreak at 107 horsepower car. And it's a very, very nicely optioned vehicle. So uh, let's get started. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm gonna make a quick video. Uh, this uh, Challenger just came in absolutely uh, beautiful spec. I'm gonna quickly show you um, around this car. Uh, this is by far, I think, one of the highest uh, MSRP cars I've seen. The sticker is almost 107, uh, a lot of options on this car. And the gentleman uh, that spec'd it out, I, I mean, you know, great taste. I mean, he really, really went out, thought about this process, and uh, uh, had added some really, really nice options. Um, and uh, uh, this is uh, finished in uh, granite gray, probably one of the um, most beautiful colors after black, I would say. Very like um, sort of uh, gentleman's uh, hot rod kind of kind of look. It's a very, very nice uh, kind of sophisticated color. Um, and this car has the optional uh, satin black graphics package. You have the uh, satin black hood, you have the satin black roof, satin black um, trunk. This is one of the most uh, expensive options uh, on this car. It's 3500 bucks uh, to have your roof, uh, hood, and trunk painted satin black. Um, we have red optional uh, badging. Uh, we have orange calipers. And uh, these are the wheels that are... Um, uh, available on the Black Ghost. Well, Black Ghost only comes with one type of wheel, which is this design, but it's in silver. In here, these are black. And I kind of said it, if, in, you know, if you watch my uh, video with the Black Ghost, uh, I mean, I had a couple of them, and uh, this was kind of like the debate that I had, so I don't understand why they didn't put black wheels on the Black Ghost. Kind of strange, you know, decision on Dodge's part, because the original car had steelies, which were black, with center, like, uh, chrome center caps. So I, I don't know why they didn't do that, because they, they had the black wheel, and uh, the Black Ghost has obviously the white stripe in the back, um, kind of reminiscent of the original one, but I think they could have they could have done like maybe like a stealthier graphic package. I think it would have looked cooler. Like for example, like on this Ram, like has this kind of like matte black graphics, you know, like ghost, ghost-like, uh, you know, emblems like that. I think that would have looked cool on the, on the Black Ghost, but you know, what do I know? Um, you know, I, I, I don't know, but um, you know, the thing, you know, I get a lot of calls on, on, on these cars and people are like, well, why, why are these cars are so much money, you know, like they made a ton of them, it's like, and, and again, people don't understand that this stuff is rare, okay, it, you know, it may look like <laughs> any other Challenger, but it's not, this is the 807 horsepower red eye, you know, so is this, uh, for 2023, there was only 640 red eyes, uh, Challengers, and only 740 red eye Chargers, that's it. So, and out of those 300 cars, you have, I mean, out of those 640 cars, you have 300 that were Black Ghost, and out of those 740 cars, there were 300 that were King Daytona. So, that really leaves you 340 challengers that were not a Black Ghost. And I think Dodge did this on purpose, really, you know, the 300 of Black Ghost and 300 of King Daytona, I think it was easier on the assembly line, because they're all the same, you can't spec them out. With this stuff, it takes more time, thus more expense, because you gotta pick and choose, you know, the, the customer can choose whatever they want, so you gotta pick orange calipers, you gotta put red badge, you, gotta, you know, it's, it takes a little bit more time, so. But that's uh, sort of the exterior. Um, I really like this look, I'm, I'm gonna miss these cars. I mean, look, look how menacing this thing looks. I mean, ugh. What a, what a great design. I can't believe they're, they're discontinuing this stuff. So um, that's your exterior. Uh, real quick, obviously has the sunroof, which is also an option. And inside, it is really, really nicely specced. Um, this is what's called the sepia interior. I really like this color. It's uh, sort of like a cognac uh, with the sepia inserts in the door panels. You have Alcantara steering wheel. And this gentleman, um, he specced, he ordered the hammerhead seat belts. They're kind of like silverish, whitish. And the floor mats, which are still in the bag, uh, in a trunk, they have the binding, which is also in hammerhead. So the binding on the floor mats matches the seat belts. You have the matching white stitching here. Really, really nicely done. I mean, really, really beautifully done. It's a brand new car, nine miles really nicely, um, I think very tastefully uh, optioned out. And let me show you under the hood real quick. And what I also like is that uh, the orange calipers, they actually match the interior pretty nicely. Like I said, this, um, this gentleman really kind of 
thought about this process, so um, I think it's nicely done. Probably one of the nicest uh, uh, spec challenges I've seen. And here's your last call badge. Here's your, this is your red eye. So that's how you know it's an 807 horsepower car, green belt, black valve covers. So this is how you know this is a HO high output engine, not, not your regular uh, you know, Hellcat engine. Uh, obviously, you need to make sure that the, you know, there's a red eye inside of the badge. But you know, these are the little things that make the difference, right? These are the little things that uh, you know, put the price you know, up so high. So, and obviously the same engines, you know, between these two cars, so, and this is your, you know, detuned, right, version of the Hellcat, so. But uh, this is your Granite Gray 2023 Challenger. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Thanks for watching. Peace.